What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Pokemon Legends Arceus and this will probably be the final episode for a while unless they come out with a new update. Uh, but this will be me doing the rest of these requests for this dude over here and uh, before we do I want to thank you for your support. Over 24,000 likes in the first episode caused it to have over 1.2 million views. You all are amazing and so what I've done for the final 10 requests here and uh, this is quite something, is I've actually traded with my friend Josh, and uh, temporarily, I'm gonna give him back, but he gave me like 10 Pokemon that I can use that are, that are you know, uh, not maxed out all of them, but some of them are, uh, but they've been boosted, and they should be really good to go. He's beaten these requests uh, with his Pokemon before. Let me talk to this guy really quick. Let's see what he has for me. Uh, I knew you could do it. What a thrill to see that Pokemon. Uh, your, your Pokemon best the Path of Solitude like that, so he's given me completion marks on some of these, and I also get some uh, materials, Seeds of Mastery and whatnot. And uh, so yeah, so you guys know that I, I uh, traded Josh to get uh, one of the Pokemon, I forget which one, what it is now. But I traded him, and I also gave him a Shiny, and so that he's really paid it back by letting, letting me borrow these 10 Pokemon here. Uh, if you take a look, uh, well first up, hold on, what do we got? Uh, what's going on over here? Lost and found. Hold on. Great. Someone found another thing. Awesome. That's mine. Thanks. <laughs> um, where? Okay, hold on. Which button is it? It's this button here. Missions and requests. So have we? Uh, Sneasel. Yeah. So we have Sneasel, Rotom, Basiodon, Roselia, and Magikarp to do, along with five others. And if you take a look in my bag, uh, or whatever, whatever it is. Uh, <laughs> uh, how do I switch Pokemon? Oh, I know how. I switched with this guy, talking to this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a while. Uh, Path of Solitude, but let me select Pokemon first. We're going to go on with this Sneasel that, uh, that he got for me. So, here we go. This Blissey can go over here, probably. All right. So, these are the ones. Uh, this is a Rotom. Uh, he renamed it Lithium. It confused me at first, but then keep in mind I rename all of mine, like <laughs> Z-Dog and stuff. Roselia, Bastiodon, Magikarp. These are all high level. So here we go. Let's have some fun. Uh, Path of Solitude. And what's the trick here? Uh, what will you do? Oh, man. Uh, first, be, I, I'm going to say not interesting because I want to look at the uh, the advice here for this one. Sneasel... You battle uh, the Sneasel encountered in a space-time distortion. Okay. Sounds good. Let's do it. Let's. Uh, that, and that was another thing. Some of these are going to be hard to get. Some of them... I just didn't have the resources to upgrade mine up to the level that I think they need to be. Uh, so that, that's why I'm so glad he's able to trade with me. So let's go in. Path of Solitude. Accept the challenge. And begin. I don't know why. But I'm ready. Let Sneasel's Path of Solitude begin. All aboard. Let's do it. We got 10 of these to do. And this is, uh, who is this? Is this, are these just 1v1s always? Uh, this is Gligar. So Gleeg, okay, so I got Sneasel. We got Gligar coming up. Gligar, looking it up, is what? <laughs> is, is he flying ground so weak to ice and water? Do I have an ice attack on this Sneasel here? Oh, I do, excellent. This is, uh, Ooh, this may may not hit, but let's try it. Hit him, please. It's gonna hit him. Okay. Mud bomb. I avoided the attack, thankfully. Let's just do a regular ice attack then. Ice shard. Super effective. And we're gonna do one more of those. <laughs> Here we go. I forgot I could you know do weak and strong versions of these, but there you go. That was easy. Thanks, Josh. <laughs> And then, so we're gonna switch to another one. And, and most splendid, yeah, 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 yeah. We, that goes in my, you know, I'm not, I'm not completionist, so I'm not gonna go through and do the Path of Solitude for every single Pokemon. But I could, <laughs> if I, if this, if for some reason, this series was like the most popular series ever, I might actually do it. But, you know, I'm not gonna be a, a strict completionist here. Um, let me look at what the next uh, mission says to do. Rotom. Uh, he mentioned there's a mechanical item that will give your Rotom the advantage. I have no idea. Uh, mechanical item that would give Rotom the advantage. I, I don't know. 
I know that Josh gave me his a Rotom from his party. And uh, so it's a, it's a maxed out Rotom. And I honestly don't know if, uh, you know, I don't know. We'll see if this Rotom will be good. He's maxed out. Let's just see what's up. Let's do the Path of Solitude with that one. And uh, accept the challenge. I really don't know. But he's, he's level 100. If it doesn't work, he said I could change his form. But Lithium is this guy's name. I would have named him R Dog. Or R Dog. Whoa, okay. So this this thing, I mean, I just I just bought this in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. This is Garchomp, and so I should know what the weaknesses are, but I don't remember things very well. Uh, Garchomp, weak to Dragon, Fairy, and Ice. But I am maxed out, so let's just see. Dragon, Fairy, Ice, uh, Thunder Wave. No effect, no effect of that. Hex is effective. Hydro Pump is effective. Dang. Let's do a Hex, I guess. Ugh, all right. Is, lithi is Lithium a Shiny? Stop using Twister, please. Uh, Strong Style Hex. I don't quite know much about all the different forms of, you know, Rotom. Just regular Hex again. Okay, it looks like we're probably gonna get there. Oh god. Oh god. He's probably gonna do two moves. Twister. Alright. You know, I might give him a potion or whatever. Uh, just so just so that we can Oh, I'm not allowed to use the potions, that's right. Strong cell hex. I hope it hits him well. Dang, he's still alive. He might get two moves on me because of that agile. Oof. All right, all right, that's enough, that's enough. Chill out. Strong cell hex coming your way. The finish is off. Excellent. Okay, so Garchomp's been defeated. Not not too bad. Not too bad. Him being level 100, of course, I think is all, all the help I needed. <laughs> uh, so that will go in my Pokédex. Bum ba dum ba dum. And then a prize. Uh, let's see what we got here. And if they do have any updates, then you know I'll, I'll cover them. Bastiodon. Swaps his offensive and defensive stats. Okay. Josh said he's made stat adjustments to some of these Pokemon because he did indeed, you know, fight with these. So let me select Bastiodon really quick. And then I... Uh, what's his his attack and defense is... Okay, his defense is really high. Does he have a move that'll do it? Power shift. Okay, that, that there we go. That's probably it. Uh, Let's do Path of Solitude. Except the challenge, and I guess I'll do the the power shift there, because that's what it said to do essentially. He has a really high defense, so he's gonna switch to a really high attack, I, I suppose. This is uh, Blissey or Chansey or something like that. Let's see. Yeah, it's Blissey. Okay. Draining kiss. Not very effective, you know. Uh, I'm level 57. Power shift. Yeah, there you go. All right, power shift, do it. And then Blissey is what? Let me just double check and make sure I don't mess anything up. Well, actually, I already know what Blissey is, so let's fight. I love that it tells you the how effective it's gonna be here, so I don't have to look it up. That's one thing I like about this game. Rock Smash, super effective. Uh, let's just do, let's stick with 40 there. I think this might work, let's see. Oh, that wasn't actually as good as I was hoping for. All right, but that's okay. Rest. No. Iron Tail is effective at 100 if it can hit. I missed. I missed. And then another Draining Kiss. Not very effective, but I took some more damage from that. Let's do Iron Tail. Okay. <sighs> I'm just going to heal all the time. 
And I don't actually have... Oh, my stats switch back to normal, which is weird. Man, they keep using soft boil. What do I need to actually do here? Power shift. I'm a little, I'm a little thrown off for a second. Let's see. Granny kiss not very effective. Rest. All right, but I'm also drowsy. It could put me to sleep. I am asleep. Okay, can I wake up please? That was maybe not the wisest choice. That is super effective, but it just doesn't do a lot. And the draining kiss Bussy heals from. This is gonna be a real mess. I'm gonna rest again. This is, this is annoying. If I can get an Iron Tail to actually, how'd they avoid it? Oh, cause it's only, there's a Draining Kiss. This is taking me a long time. I might want to level up Basiodon. Power Shift again. Um, please hit this. I'm too drowsy to move, but I fought it off, and I don't get to I don't get to use it, do I? Oh my gosh! Here we go. Please hit. Gosh. All right. Well, I'm out of that. I might have to redo this fight. This is tough. They say Draining Kiss is not very effective, but it seems pretty effective to me. Come on, Rock Smash. I'm too freaking drowsy to move. My stats switch back to normal. Strong style. I'm too. I'm still too drowsy to move. There's power shift. And then let's try a rock smash, like a big one. Maybe I can lower the defense, and then then I'll be able to hit strong, hit harder. Super effective. Yeah, defense stats were lowered. Good. Soft boiled. While the defense is lowered, that would have been a great time to strike with the iron tail or whatever. Uh, but let's do a regular rock smash here. Okay. Soft boiled again. Oh my goodness, this is awful. This is just gonna take forever, it seems. All right, I'm gonna have to rest again. That doesn't refill it very much. Oh, defensive stats for uh, rest. Okay, let's. Okay, I gotta switch my stats back. I mean, I guess I don't have to, but I mean, I could. This is this is tough. I feel like I'm doing something wrong, and maybe I maybe I am. Maybe I should have started with. Oh my goodness. Blissey is fully healed from... Ah, uh, too drowsy to move. I hate this. If I can get the, the defense stat down, then that'll be great. And I fought off my drowsiness, which is even wonderful. Gosh, the soft boiled sucks. Maybe you can lower the defense even more? I don't know. 
There you go. All right, all right. Agile what? Soft boiled. Okay. No more moves that it can be left to use. Struggle. Okay, this is good. This is exciting then. Because now I can actually just do it. No more moves. I like that. I like that a lot. No more moves. You're out. I'm not out. Oh, nice. Excellent. Okay, battle decided. That was tedious. It took forever. But we, we pulled it off. And I'm quite happy about that. So, let's just see what we got to do. Uh, most splendid Basiodon has reached the final station on his path of solitude. Great. And then, uh, let's see. A prize as well. Whoa. Sorry. Uh, we're going to look over here. And the next request will be Roselia's. Your Roselia sees its chance when the opponent is drowsy. I don't know what that means, but I'm sure if we uh, select the Pokemon and we look at uh, Roselia, it might make sense. Maybe. I don't know. So level 9, no, 60 Roselia with Stun Spore, Venoshock, Poison Jab, Energy Ball. I don't get it, but we're going to get it. Here we go. Let's do a Path of Solitude battle with Roselia. Except a challenge. So, um, I'm not quite sure. I, it's easy when there's drowsy. Wait, who, am I go who am I up against? This is the Raptor, right? This is just, uh, no, this is St Staravia, which is a, a, an even, even weaker version. No. It's weak to ice and electric. I don't have those, so... This could paralyze the target. This is, uh... We're both the same level. Oh, if it has a status condition, this Vino Shock is doubled. Not very effective, though. So this... I guess I'll poison jab it and then try to, uh... Okay, that was great. But it doesn't have a status condition, so... Oh, he's... Okay, so he's using... Okay, great. He's drowsy. And so now he has a status condition. Ow. Okay, then... Vino Shock doubled if he has a status condition, so... Let's see if this... Okay, I can pull this off in one hit? I don't know. Yes. Okay, great. Easy. That was pretty easy, honestly. Let's uh, let's see. I do thank Josh so much for, for letting me have uh, these Pokemon temporarily. And then the next one will be M Magikarp. And I do wonder what that's going to be like. Um... Uh, he recommends you battle with a st sturdy Magikarp that can withstand a lot of damage. So, okay, he just... This Magikarp happens to be really high level, I suppose, is what it's going to be. Uh, so we select Pokemon Magikarp. And what level is this Magikarp? Level 90. Okay, great. I hope he can withstand a lot of damage. Looking pretty good. He defensive 2 2, two, two. Uh, Okay, yeah. Let's do the uh, Path of Solitude with Magikarp. And accept the challenge. Let's see. Uh, begin. I don't know. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure what the what, who the who the uh, opponent is. Okay. Magic carp. This one can withstand a lot of damage, apparently. So, what moves do I possibly have here? Here's self destruct. Okay, withstood. He was damaged by the recoil. Yeah, oh, I don't have anything. That's right. <laughs> He's gonna have to hurt himself again, probably, but I have to survive this. And he has to not survive it. So there you go. Battle decided. That was easy. Just had to get a high enough level Magikarp. Josh provided. Oh, he can evolve. I'm gonna evolve him. Psych. 
<laughs> just trying to make Josh a little nervous. Like, no! <laughs> Alright, so. Excellent. We got that one done and done. And so, I know that if I were to... Oh, I completed it with 10 different Pokemon. Allow me to present you this prize as well. Okay, cool. So, what's up, dude? I've done it. I've done several of these for you. Uh, so, he's going to clear off a few. He's probably going to give me a bunch of new ones. I hope, because I, otherwise I don't know how to get them. <laughs> but I know that by looking it up, there's, there's five more to do. And what's he going to say? What's he going to say? Right. With your skills, I know you can do it. Get out there and try these incredibly tough challenges. So, we have uh, everyone for this. And I knew I wouldn't have enough materials or, you know, money to, you know, keep on doing it. So, we're going to pursue five more battles in the Path of Solitude. All right, let's take a look at these other requests. A Roserade's Path of Solitude. Uh, Roserade seizes its chance when the opponent comes to roost. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but uh, we will try to see what that means. So, let's switch out Magikarp. Move it over here, and boom, we got Roserade, and she's level 72, so let's attempt the Path of Solitude, and what will I do except a challenge, of course. And then let's see, seize the moment when whatever, I don't know. The Roost, 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 right. All right, who's coming out? All aboard, who's coming out? Tell me who's coming out. This is Staraptor, right? So Roost. Uh, Staraptor. Giga Impact. So you're starting? Okay, I avoided the attack. Thank goodness. Um, Venom Shock. I can try to poison the target. This is agile, so if I do happen to poison it, then there you go. Now I can do like something like. Uh, Venoshock, and this will be uh, doubled. So let's see, Venoshock, big time here. I might be able to pull this off just like instantly. Nope, <laughs> I thought I could. There's Roost. Okay, well, hurt by poisoning. Strong style, whatever is happening here. Giga Impact, which is very painful. <laughs> that didn't work. Uh, let me try that again. So wait till it roosts? I don't really understand what the roost and gig impact does, but hey, sure, here we go. All aboard, let's try again. I don't actually want to lose these. Battle. Okay, I avoided the giga impact. What what do I do until then? There you go. Maybe you're paralyzed, unable to move. Maybe. Uh, let me just uh, let do another stun spoil. I don't know, man. I'm gonna wait until. Uh, here's a strong style uh, Giga Impact that's that is going to hit me. Dude, I don't understand this roost thing, man. All right, well, uh, redo somehow, yeah, again. I don't get this one. All right, here we go. Battle. Roost is happening, starting us off. But his HP is full, which means what? I honestly don't know. All right, let me see. Vino shock. Let's just do a regular Vino shock here. I don't know. Roost, here comes Roost. HP's restored. Hurt by poison. He does not get another move though. 
So, do I try strong style now, or do I just try Vino Shock? Here we go. Okay. Here comes a strong style of whatever the heck this, this Giga Impact keeps ruining me. I don't understand. All right, let me try again. I'm not so sure how to... Ha All aboard, let me just see. Maybe I'll try to paralyze him again. So he starts with the roost, right? Is he gonna start with Giga Impact? How do you even defend against that when he starts off with Giga Impact? All right, well, I'm going to uh, attempt it again. Maybe I'll just get lucky. Maybe I'll slide into it. If not, I might I might level this thing up. And then give it back to Josh, leveled up. <laughs> but let's see, this is, a, this is a bit tedious. I think the paralysis might be the key. Josh is saying that, that that seems to be what he did. Roost. HP's full. So, stun spore. Maybe we can paralyze him this time. Okay, he's paralyzed. Unable to move, maybe. Uh, let's do Venoshock strong style. I, I need to do one more. This is agile style uh, Roost. All right. How is he able? Okay, so he's using Roost twice. He's paralyzed, but oh, I get to go twice. Let's do a Vino Shock twice then. All right, there's one, and then we'll do a strong. And maybe the strong will will work out for me this time. Nope. Here's Roost. And it cured a paralysis, unfortunately. <laughs> and here comes Giga Impact. How the heck? All right, I gotta figure something out. What the heck? That, that was a close one. I feel like I can make it work if I, I'm about to level this thing up. <laughs> if this doesn't work, I'm about to level it up for real. Even though it's not mine. This should work, it just isn't working. All right, battle. Are you gonna start off with the freaking Giga Impact again? I don't know how to... When it starts off with that, there's like literally nothing I can do. I'm gonna try one more round, Where and if, if it gets down to it, if I lose, like I'm just gonna honestly level this up again. Gonna hand him back the best Roserade ever. <sighs> Focus energy. Alright, Stun Spore. I guess Agile style. I don't know that it helps me at all, but... All right. Vino shock. I'll do an agile style. See if I can come back from that in a bit. Okay. Is he just, why is he not actually paralyzed? <laughs> okay. I don't know. I, I think I have to get Roserade leveled up some more. I'm not, I'm not figuring out how to do this. And I don't want to just keep doing trial and error. Let me see, Roserade, not bad. Shh. All right, let me go to... Uh, we, we have some rare candies, which would level them up for sure. We have some new large and medium candies. Uh, let's use... What, what think three? 74, let's give him another two. 75, 
Okay, so he's higher level. Let me let, let me look about give, giving him. Um, his attack is uh, HP, attack, and defense are all effort level. Let me just let's just. I'm gonna. This guy is getting. This is not even my my guy, but this guy is getting. All right, and then we're gonna switch over to the Grit Gravel. And then uh, let me also do attack. And defense. And speed. Okay, so. Let's see if Rosa Raid's ready to do it now. I don't know if this will be any better, honestly, but I'm gonna accept the challenge and see if we can do a little bit better. Maybe I, maybe my attacks up, maybe you know I could, I could take it out quicker, get, get luckier. I don't know. All right, go Rosa Raid. So level 75. This one's still an 80. We'll see. Agile style stun score. Boom. Paralyzed. Here's Roost. That doesn't do anything. Uh, regular Vino Shock. Okay. Roost is happening. That's okay. I get a regular sh Vino Shock and then probably a. A big, yeah. This, this is this is what I had to do. Not even my Rosa raid. I'm keeping it though. <laughs> Just kidding. Got it. Okay, so that's what I had to do. Battle decided. Okay, there we go. There you go. There you go. All right. And then, uh, yeah. There's a prize. Great. Three experience candies. Next up will be uh, select Pokemon. We got to switch out. And this one. This is one of Josh's main party members, Borden. I don't know what the significance behind that name is. Uh, let's see. So Borden is really good there. Um, which would you like to attempt? Well, let's just do the, 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 the Path of Solitude. That's what we're here for. And you know, you can do Path of Solitude for like every Pokemon, I think. But I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> just I'm just doing the missions. So here we go. Ew. Come on, Borden. Let's do this. Uh so what uh who is this I'm against? Gudra. Uh okay. But you know, I don't I don't think I've I don't know if I've been Do I know anything about Gudra? Let me see. Super effective close combat. Sword dance. You know, let me do a sword dance first and then I'll come in with close combat next time. Let's see what happens. Iron head, super effective, that's okay. Here comes uh a strong close combat. If this doesn't work, then, you know, I'll try to figure out something else. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> so, Iron Head's probably going to faint me. Yeah, let's, okay, redo, 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 redo. Um, no more Pokemon that can battle. That's okay, we'll just go again. I should be able to, you know, just strong arm this. Let's see. Come on, Borden. Sword Dance in the clay. This is a shiny? He's got a lot of shinies. Um, close combat. Just a regular close combat, and then maybe the next time will be a strong close combat. Just an idea. Iron Head, is Iron Head gonna faint me? No. Oh, two, uh, two Iron Heads. How did he get two? 
How did he freaking get two? There's no way. Okay, I'm having a lot more trouble with these. <laughs> okay, let's. I don't know what I don't know what to do. Go boarding. All right, hold on. Fight, close combat, agile style. No, let's do just regular. No, just give me a move, like. That's not bad, right? If I could do a strong one next, I'll probably win, but if he's gonna do two iron heads somehow. How's he getting two? I, I don't get it. I don't understand. I'm typing to Josh, telling him he keeps hitting me with two iron heads. Maybe it's a sword dance technique that I gotta do or something. I don't know. Honestly, don't know. Um, at this point, I would just I would just level him up. But I mean, like, let's do uh, sword dance again. This is an agile style. All right, my offensive stats were raised. Here comes Iron Head, super effective. Unfortunately, let's try strong style. This is just not gonna work. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I'll try a light close combat and then a heavy one. I don't really know. I know what it is. I need some water. Let me get some water. Then I'll feel better. <laughs> Probably. All right. I'm gonna try. I don't. I don't understand how he's getting by with two. Two. You know. Anyway, here. Let me try close combat, agile style. And then heavy next time I can do it. Okay, good. He didn't. Ha Let's do a strong style. Please work. Wow. How did he do this? He he claims that he's beaten these with these Pokemon. No, I'm gonna have to level him up. <laughs> I, I'm gonna I'm gonna level up this dude's party member. Uh, let's see. Okay, to level him up? Question mark. I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to. Uh, how do I? Oh, it's always what button. All right. So we got some large candies here. Uh, use. There you go. Let's just give him one. He's now 81. That's not enough. Let's give him like five candies. He's now 83. Let's give him three candies. He is almost 85. Let's give him a, a, a small. There we go. Now he's 85. Is there any? I don't. I think he was maxed out on everything. A special attack. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, is it? I guess special attack probably doesn't benefit Borden. Anyway, we I level up five levels. Let's try the Path of Solitude. I don't know how he would have done this. But Borden is now five. So let's see. But see, I wouldn't have been able to, like, I would, if I were doing this with my own Pokemon, I would have had to level them up, like, 50 levels, you know what I mean? And I just didn't have that in me. So, let's try a, let's try a, I think Sword Dance and then Close Combat Strong is what we did, right? I 
cannot deal with that again. Let's try it. Am, am I overlooking something? Wow. That didn't do any better. That just like honestly not even better. Wow. What is wrong with me? I don't understand. Maybe am I just not... I feel, I mean, supposedly this guy was used to do this. Josh did this with this, with this girl, Borden. Aerial Ace. I could do a quick attack, you know what? I could do, how about, you know what? That's probably it. Let's do sword dance. Regular style sword dance, and I'll do a quick attack, then I'll do close combat. That's probably, that's probably it. And I maybe could have done that without leveling him up. So, let's see. Fight. There, yeah. This might be it. Quick attack and then close combat. Strong. Or not. Oh, man. I, I have a feeling this isn't going to work either. I honestly can't figure this out. I don't get it. Uh, no. Um, I don't understand. B Borden's moves... I, I just don't know. Born is like so maxed out. I'm gonna make uh, Josh send me some experience candy large. <laughs> Somehow, I don't know, is that even possible? <laughs> Let's get it to 87. Let's get it to 88. Maybe that will be lucky. There you go, level 88. Good lord. Um, <sighs> can I be holding something? Would that help? Is that even a thing in this game? I don't remember. Why is it so hard? I'm going to send back his own Pokemon better than they were. 338. I don't even know. Alright, sword dance. Then agile quick attack and then strong close combat, right? Shelter? Are you joking kidding me? How come? What? I cannot believe this. I can't believe what I'm seeing. What? How did you get to go? I thought I had a move. How, why you get twi what the? I honestly don't understand. His defense was raised, so there's no way. I've never seen him use shelter before. All right. Ugh. Yes, once more. This is uh, this is peculiar for sure. Maybe he had like a different cleaver or, or something that uh, I don't know. That doesn't make sense. Sword dance. Let's do it. Iron Head's about what I expected. For whatever reason, that one was. So I can do a quick attack and then a close combat. Let's see if that pays off. I don't feel like I'm doing any extra damage. Even at this higher level, I, I really don't. This is like the same. 
I cannot survive. I, I think leveling this up was useless. I don't understand. Okay, let me, how about instead, how about we just do close combat? I'll just do close combat. We'll just go right for it, but I've already tried to just go right for it. If I can get one more shot. The problem is he does two things. Okay, shelters. That was an agile shelter, which is interesting. Defense stats raised, obscured. Here comes Iron Head, which hurts a lot. All right, this has to hit. If not, then it's over. This uh, this might actually work now. Nope, because the defense stats were up. Son of a gun. Oh, I don't understand how to do this. I, I might just have to get lucky with RNG or something here. I feel like I'm just I'm spinning my wheels here. Do you, do, do you guys think that? All right, close combat, go. And then what are you gonna do to me? If you don't do shelter and just do like one iron head, God, that was like a critical. Why do you get two iron heads? Why do you get two iron heads? It doesn't make any sense to me. I guess we, I, gosh, it sucks. Maybe I need to do agile and strong. Maybe that's that's the, that I'm not understanding somehow. And then he can maybe do, but the, if he does two iron. Okay. Agile, close combat. Okay. Iron Head, please tell me you only get one of those. Okay, great. All right. Strong, maybe this will work this time. Yes! I think I tried that before and it didn't work, so good. Finally. Holy cow, well, congratulations. You got a level 88. I leveled up like eight levels. <sighs> All right, <laughs> but it does me a favor too. I mean, the Pokédex oh, gets completed. I I get to do the video. Um, select Pokémon. Um, so now we will look at Lilligant, which is a really strong Lilligant. Eighty-six. This one better work. What is the? Uh, you know what? I forgot to read last time. Didn't I? Cleaver. Quiet your mind and exploit the weakness. I have no idea. Lilligant, perform a dance to usher in victory. Wormple to its very limit. Uh, Crooked talk to its utmost limit. All right, but we're gonna do a dance? Is that what we're doing? Hold on, what is marked here? Awesome, found. Someone found another one? Nice. Awesome, thanks dude. And then uh, Path of Solitude with Lilligan, and I do a dance is what it's said to do. These are a lot harder than I thought they were gonna be. So, um, all aboard. Braviary. That was fast. Stun Spore Victory Dance. All right, let's just do the Victory Dance. And I get better. My offense was raised, my defense was raised. And then what happens? This is an agile move. 
Esper Wing. Super effective, but I defended okay. Okay, super effective, but I defended okay. I get two moves now, by the way. Uh, and Drain Punch is probably gonna... These are all not very effective. Are you kidding me? <laughs> These are not very effective. But I get two moves. Let's try Leaf Blade. That was great. That was a critical hit. Let's do it again. Leaf Blade. Strong style. That wasn't strong enough because it wasn't critical. Crud. Do you get another move too? Dang it. Alright, I get it though. Sort of. Do I? Alright, let me try again. I think I'm on the right path. All aboard. Alright. Victory dance, let's go. Aerial A, super effective. Oh, they only did it once. I could do a, uh, I could do an agile style leaf blade. Not very effective, not even a critical. Let's do a drain punch. See how much that helps me. Okay, that that healed me a little bit. So we did an aerial ace and nothing else, really. Agile style leaf blade. Oh, I abandoned my hard-hitting stance. What? Let's do another victory dance then. I don't know, man. Uh, I might get fainted here at this point. Here's just a regular aerial ace. Good. Anton leaf blade, then I'll probably do a strong leaf blade. Yep. You know what? Just a regular leaf blade will do the trick, I'm sure. Excellent. Okay. I'm quite happy with that. The battle decided that one, you know, not so bad. Not so bad at all. And then, um, yeah, great. Put that in my books. Now I got to do like these worm pulls and, and whatever. And uh, so yeah, let's let's take a look at them really quick. And this worm pull is what level? Only 77. All right, but it's all tinned. And then let's do a path of solitude against Wormpool. Let's let's see what the the rub is here. Like, what can I do? Hoping I don't have to level up anymore. Go Wormpool. And then, um, oh, this gets a level set. Why'd you have to go first? What the heck? This is all I have? Why? Is this all that Wurmple, all the moves that Wurmple has? Am I going crazy here? Let's do an agile style tackle. Go. Oh my goodness. I don't understand.
I don't understand how I... Oh, why does Wormpole only have two moves? Can I... I'm asking him if I... I'm gonna ask him if I can add a move to Wormpole. <laughs> if that's even possible, I don't know. I feel like that this... I'm super confused about why Wurmple only has two moves. Here comes a gust. Okay, super effective. I hate it. I don't think poison's gonna do anything. Another agile style tackle. I guess you kind of hope you would land a crit or something. I think I'm dead. I don't, how do you use this worm pull? Can I add moves to this guy? What's up? I want new moves. Can I add moves to worm pull? There are no moves you can learn. How did he do it? I can't learn. I can't learn any more moves. How, how did you do it? I don't understand how he did it. This is perplexing. I, I know that I far outclassed him. I just keep getting hit with Gust that's super effective. Let's do a, a lightweight poison sting. I mean, does, is poison sting even a thing? Like, do I need to worry about it? I think, and then like, if he does tw if he does two moves, then I have to just deal with. I don't think poison sting. Oh my gosh. Uh. I'm dead. He's saying strong style poison sting. And I guess the poison damage is great enough that he'll take a lot of damage. So, okay, strong style poison sting. I'll, I'll do it, I'll do it. Okay, yeah, I, I get hit with that. There you go, strong style poison sting for you. How about that? All right, poison, so. Gust hit me, ow. Okay, and then another gust hit me, I'm dead. I don't get it. <laughs> if, I, if I do a strong style poison sting, I'm just gonna get hit with three, like two more. I get hit with the gust, and I get hit with the gust and the gust, and I'm dead. What the heck? Okay, there's one hit. Strong style poison sting. What if I just do like a regular one? Whatever, strong style poison sting. Boom, and you're gonna be poisoned. I am dead. <laughs> I can't I can't do that. No. 
How? It's ridiculous. Do I have to level them up again? I mean, uh, the answer is probably yes. Where's my Wurmple? Where's my... Here, select. I don't think my Wurmple... Would... How many do I have? 16, let's use eight. All right, he's level 81 now. 82, there you go. Let's see if level 82 works better. I don't think I can, I mean, he was all level 10 on everything, so I don't think like I can raise the HP, I don't think. I seem to be able to survive three gusts. <laughs> That's the main thing. It did say bring him out when he's like maximum, so I mean, I'm thinking like level 100 Wurmple would, would survive three gusts. Strong style poison sting. And now he's poisoned, so. Here's an agile gust, which I will survive. I don't think I'm gonna survive a strong one though. Oh, he, he used a regular gust. Are you joking? Kidding me? Strong style poison sting or strong style tackle. I'm going to do strong style tackle. Oh, I should have looked to see if I could have done a mixture. I didn't even look. Oh, he's not even dead. Dang it, dude. Dang it, dude. I'm dead though, but okay, so, but you can tell I'm surviving these. I, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, again, please. Let's see what we got. All aboard. My bad for constantly messing this up. Wurmple, I, I think I had a good shot there. I just messed up. Okay, so battle, we're gonna start with the strong style. Uh, poison sting. I got a crit. That's awesome. I, that's really good that I got a crit. I'm I'm alive. All right, this is gonna be wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Now I could do an agile tackle. And then also like a, that's what I should have done last turn. Yeah, he's gone, anyway. All right, one more left. I'm keeping this Wurmple too. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh man. Um, all right. Dun, 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 dun. And then uh, let me select the Pokemon again. And then, uh, Cricketot. Path of Solitude with Cricketot. We'll see what's up, dude. All right. I'm telling him I leveled up and I got a crit. So, he's got like three or four Pokemon that I've leveled up a little bit. All right. Cricketot, let's do this. Battle, and I'm fighting against a level 60 Gyarados Twister. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, this is another thing where I only have so many. Absorb and tackle. Good God. Absorb, sure. Okay. Twister again. Absorb. Not bad. That was a critical. Agile of whatever this is. Twister. 
Okay. And then regular twister. Right. Alright, regular absorb again. He's halfway there. Okay, agile and whatever. And then regular twister. Right. I don't think I get any benefit for doing, uh, you know, Twister. Okay, good. Right. I, I think I'm doing a good job. Uh, what? How'd you get two? How did he get two? You know what? I'm going to do a strong absorb. He's gone. We've done it. We've done all of the requests in this game, essentially 100% completing those. And, you know, there's a lot of stuff that you could do on the side. You know, like I could do every single Path of Solitude. I'm not, but I could. And, uh, you know, I, I could also found all of the, find all of those, those letters. What, what are they called? But let's talk to him. I knew you could do it, he says. So, complete, 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 and complete. So, I see you've completed the Path of Solitude with all the Pokemon I recommended. Well done. Please, please take these uh, as thanks for showing me such inspiring battles. All right, 10 experience candies XL, great. Keep enjoying the Path of Solitude for his path stretches forever onward. And that's the problem. It goes on forever and he's gone. Wow, he's just gone. So, guys, we've done uh, uh, everything that I've I've wanted to do. We've done it. <laughs> so, so uh, all the missions and requests have been completed now, finally. If they come out with any more updates with like more missions or requests, then you better believe I'll be covering that on my channel in this series. But for now, thanks for watching. Come back next time for more, and I will see you then. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.